he's got to hope that Boric sorts himself out and, and, and does it very, very quickly. Uh, a player can, a goalkeeper can regain his form reasonably quickly. I know Alec Ferguson stood by Peter Schmeichel in, in the great season uh, when they won the, the treble the European Cup. Schmeichel had an absolute stinker uh, of the first six months in that season. Ferguson stood by him and he actually refound his form and he was magnificent uh, when it really mattered. And Gordon Strachan's got to get this player sat down, try and just get inside his head and say to him, this club needs you, but you've got to show the commitment. We've given you a big new contract. OK, you might be disappointed you didn't get a move, but at the moment you're at Celtic and you've got to deliver. The fans have invested a lot of trust in this goalkeeper. You know, they've made him a hero. And I think it's up to him now to repay the faith they have shown in him. I think I think the healing process started against Villarreal the other night um, because it would have been easy for Gordon Strachan to do the knee-jerk reaction and say, right, that's one howler too many. But he, stay, he stuck with him. Arthur Boric looked concentrated on what he was doing. His kicking's not been great, but you know he made a terrific one-on-one -on -one save with Nihat when it looked as if you know the the, the Turkish striker was was odds on to score. It was that was Arthur Boric at his best. The kind of saves that make him a special goalkeeper. The crowd responded to it, but he has to go and do it again this weekend, and he needs a big and error-free old firm performance. Because he does supply ammunition for his critics. Uh, the headlines tend to scream out um, whenever he does something he shouldn't. Um, I mean, he is a colourful character. I mean, Scottish football yeah, would miss him if he, if he wasn't here. And it's a, a situation that I think Gordon has managed extremely well. I really do. I think that uh, certain individuals need their release. You know, I think if you look at some of the, the greatest footballers of all time, your Diego Maradona's of this world, you know, they, they all needed their, their release and they, they didn't lead their life in a particularly professional manner. And, uh, you know, I think only recently, since Arthur has made a couple of... Uh, you know, unfortunate errors, you know, it has been highlighted. Because when he's good, Stephen, like yeah. this, yeah, Gordon, uh, he's very good. Of he, course he makes he he, saves. Gordon's managed him extremely well, you know, he, he, he uh, disciplines him like every other player. You know, he's, no, he's, he's treated uh, not, no differently to any other player with regards to the, the club's discipline. But sometimes you have to give certain individuals that little bit of slack. As I said, your Maradona's, your Cantona's, your George Best. Yeah, but You've got to. I know, I, but I understand that. The problem comes when the errors begin. Exactly. That's when the problems come, and I understand that. And this is the difficult time to manage the situation. But what I'm saying to you is that would Arthur Boric be the same goalkeeper if he didn't have that release? And that is a, you know, a big question that needs to be answered. No, I, I agree with you, but I do think you know it, it's very easy. For Arthur Boyce to, to be given his own kind of rules, of but he's not given. But he's not given his own uh, kind of room, rules within the club. He is not. He abides by the same rules as every other player. But well, then, sorry, I'll rephrase that then, Elvis. What I would say, well, what my, what from what I hear, is he can be quite an argument of sort in the dressing room. He doesn't go out of his way to curry favour with anybody, and there can be problems within the confines of the dressing room because he's he's very quick to criticise. Now that's fine. That is absolutely fine if you are, you know, 10 out of 10, week in, week out, saving the team with world-class saves. You, no problem. You, you've got every right to say. When you're actually throwing a couple in and yet you're still knocking away at your teammates, uh, that's not a healthy situation. And you'll find, uh, certainly from, you know, previous experience that there are these problems in the dressing rooms, that he'll be cut. I'll cut you know out in his well, own I, well, very, I, very quickly certainly by, by players. All that, I'm going to say is certainly during my time at the club, Arthur was never a problem within the dressing room. I can categorically say that. He was never a problem within the dressing room. I'm just talking about the lifestyle he leads away from the club. He abides by all the rules that Gordon sets, and if he doesn't, he's fined in and the well, same well, manner. Well, it doesn't intrude on his performances. No, that's, that's well, okay. yeah, people accept it. The yeah. problem you have now is, since he's made a couple of errors, that, you know, it's, it becomes a talking, it becomes point. A talking point. Yeah. And all I'm saying to you is, if you change... That side of Arthur, do you lose the goalkeeper to a certain extent? And that is the big question. Yeah. And talking of rules, Keith, um, tis the season to be jolly, 